Often now, many people want to turn inward and not think about America's role in the world. But America's role in the world is very, very important in terms of the safety and prosperity of our country. And things that happen overseas, as we understand, can quickly come home to us if we do not have a strong leadership role in the world. I was really excited to hear Senator Ayotte today. Um, she's one of the people that I've been learning about in a couple of my classes and this uh, topic in Crimea is obviously something we've been talking about in some of my international law classes. And It's really um, one of my favorite parts about this program that I get to hear about someone that's actually forming the public policy and get to engage with them on their thoughts on the matter and what the future of the country is going to hold. I really enjoyed the Senator's speech today, uh, especially given how relevant it is. Um, she was very vocal about her disappointment with the Obama mis administration's weakness and with the crisis in Ukraine and uh, it's very timely and I very much enjoyed it. Is the U.S. still a great power or is it a power in decline that issues strong statements but lacks either the will, neither the will or, nor the ability to lead? I can assure you that the world is watching to see what we do with Putin's aggression. It's a very unique experience and it's an opportunity for which I'm very grateful uh, to have the opportunity to listen to the speaker in a public lecture and also engage with them in a private question and answer session. It really allows us to have a further understanding of that speaker's character and um, leadership style and that's really important. She's a very prominent member on the Armed Services Committee and I know Senator McConnell is excellent at trying to bring in very relevant speakers. Um, uh, the last few speakers have been uh, very prominent public policy makers both on the national and international level um, and it, I'm really grateful that he's able to do that for us. I guess the only question we have is what message will we send them and will we really act to ensure that both our interests and the interests of our allies are protected. Thank you so much for having me today.